Hm? Okay. Hi folks, Mark here and Don. We're uh, still in the basement and we're going to do speed, distance, and timing. Now, many years ago, Wim Demir, who is an amazing martial artist, a blonde bastard, big blonde Belgian bastard. Yeah, four Bs. Um, he asked me, he was writing a book on timing and he goes, you know, what are your thoughts on timing? And at the time I was having a major revelation, you know, my mind was being warped with all these other things. It's like, I can't answer. Okay. Um, here's a real important thing. Speed equals distance. Okay. And timing is really closely um, mixed in for that. Now, one of the problems is that people don't understand the range of a technique. Okay, and by that I mean there is a low power, spike in power, drop in power. And it is primarily based on the distance that a technique is designed to be effective in. Now if I'm standing here and I throw a reverse punch, yeah, yawn. Well, the problem is my distance is wrong, my range is wrong. Okay. So if I go like this, here is with the proper structure, except for it's not gonna land. But what people try and do is that they try and adjust for bad distance, bad range. So I'm gonna go like this and go, hey, wait, I need to lean to hit him. He's right, don't do that. The reason why is in, in trying to reach, overextend it, um, I basically destroy my structure, which means I'm building in shock absorbers and I'm losing power. And you're more vulnerable to it. Well, there's that too. Okay, that's just a nightmare unto itself. More vulnerable, yeah. But, so with a reverse punch, and I, by the way, I always thought this was the stupidest damn technique I have ever seen. You know, why am I practicing this, right? Yeah, what I'm about to explain to you will <laughs> help you understand. But here, if I move this much, okay, he is now in the proper distance for that power. Not only will it land, okay, but I'm in that power spike. Okay. So too far, I got nothing. If I'm a little too far, eh, I lose power. If I'm at the right distance, I get the spike of power. But if he's too damn close and I'm trying to throw this distance punch, he interrupts before I can, I can get the power. Okay, so the, the biggest thing for understanding timing is understand what the range of, the, of that attack is and don't throw it outside that. Now what I teach people is to put dots on the floor near a punching bag, do a technique, step on the next dot, do a technique. Have somebody holding the bag and he will tell you when you're doing the blow with the most power. That's the range for that punch. Now, bit of understanding about why that is not stupid is I thought it was stupid until well, okay, you get to do it. Okay, stand back, stand back just a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, you're still in the thing. This is going to be a reverse punch, and we're going to go really slow because we're recreating something that I learned the hard way. Okay. I saw this guy take a karate stance, complete with that. And I thought, oh, I'm going to eat his lunch. And I came charging in. <laughs> Turns out I had created the range. <laughs> I had to go sit down and think about what I did. <laughs> I'll get back to you. <laughs> right. So the thing about it is, if you know the range of the technique, right, you can just do it. Okay. And that it actually makes you quicker. You don't necessarily, it doesn't make you faster, but Operating within the range of the technique seriously 
decreases the amount of time it takes. Because if I'm out here and I want to throw a reverse punch, I'm not going to reach him. So I further slow myself down by stepping into range. Okay. So this is a big game. A game you can play with a free hanging bag is you step out of range, step into range. Okay. Or you can start the bag swinging. And when the bag comes into range, that's when you fire off the technique. And that will really help you with timing because you recognize what the proper distance is for that technique. And you don't throw it if you're not in that in that distance. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Go right ahead. Throw in. There's a there's a technique in Japan, a few kata, where basically the start of the technique is you attack the other person as you're walking at each other. And that's that's just it. Yeah. At the right time, you gotta know when he steps into it, when you step into it, for the perfect thing. And another drill that we did was teacher would carry one of those huge bags mm -hmm. like this and walk counterclockwise while everyone was walking clockwise mm -hmm. doing the technique on mm -hmm. the bag. Yeah. Same thing with the, you know, when you got the bag moving, you can step, etc. And when you see it coming in, you can step in too, or you can step back and hit. All these games you can play to learn what the distance of the technique is, but more important is you learn to process mentally. Be internalized. Yeah, you get to internalize that when somebody is in this distance, that's the time for this move. Right. It, it, so it's not knowledge. You know, you can know how to ride a bike mm -hmm. and not be able to ride a bike, and mm -hmm. you can forget how to, mm -hmm. how to walk and still walk. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. internalize it. Right. Internalization of this of this concept is very, very important because it's almost as if you're driving and, you know, driving is steering, braking, and accelerating, okay? The, the art of driving is knowing when to do that. And you've got it so deeply embedded and internalized in your, in your skull that when you see the circumstances, you know what to do automatically. That is understanding your techniques.